know, she she loved music. She knew the lyrics of like every song. Um, I made it a goal. Yeah, she was a really good dancer. She went to the Orange County High School of the Arts. She's really into fashion. She was pursuing fashion design. Uh, you know, she loved hanging out with friends. We just can't believe that she's gone. But she's left the way that she always do. And so, and. Throughout that entire night, you know, she was receiving texts and you know, she was telling me about Sam, you know, she talked about him before, and, and, you know, almost every conversation I always have with her, I always just want to look out for her, too, and she's like, oh, Sam is like a, he's also like a big brother, you, you like him, you know, he really takes care of us and wants to look out and make sure we're doing okay. That's why the, when this whole story was going off, it just, nothing was making sense, right? But, um, so, you know, she was just saying that, oh, look, you know, it looks like Sam has some kind of family problems or something's going on and I think he just needs you know like a like a girl's shoulder to cry on like you know something she, he can't express to his his guy friends um, you know she's like so I you know just sometime by the end of today I probably want to just stop by and just check up on him and you know we were having a great time I kind of wish that hindsight I like gave her enough alcohol to keep her at home or something you know where she couldn't drive or something but um she left around 11 and the way our family works it's like all right when you get there text me so I got that text you know and you know when she got over to Sam's and that was the last text I got our family's mentality has really been to focus on what we can do for Julie um, you know all the anger in the world's not going to really bring her back you know we, we just want justice to be served we, you know we're going to rely on our resources to basically be able to help us uh, put an end to this as quick as possible. But, you know, uh, mentally, we're just trying to heal by, you know, remembering Julie, doing things for her, memorials, whatever we can. And, you know, if, if we just think about why and ask the questions why every day, that's just going to tear us all apart. So we're trying to stay away from that.